Hi, I'm Chris Maragakis of Simply Be Retreats and Therapies. I'm a life coach, therapist and podcaster. Welcome to Mindful Mutterings. Please like, share and subscribe. And as always, thanks for listening. Hi, thanks for joining me. Um, I talk a lot about being authentic or being true to yourself and the first question that I'm usually asked by my clients is how do I work out who the real me is? So I thought we'd dive into that today. Our identity has been constructed as we've grown up. It's been shaped by life events, conditioning, labelling and we take all of this on board and we become defined by it. I mean, how often have you heard people describe themselves as white, black, Asian, straight, gay, bi, mum, sister? And, you know, obviously there are so many labels that I could have used. So if I haven't used any that apply to you, I'm sorry. I do see you and I will endeavour to do better. But this is just a short podcast. But that aside, this is what you are, not who you are. The you behind the construction is the one who finds joy in all that you do because you're not caged by fear, because you're not giving your power away by desiring other people's approval, because you feel free and are living in alignment with what speaks to the essence of your being. And this essence is what is often referred to as the awareness within. So this all sounds very empowered and wonderful, but how do we actually let go of the fear? How do we know what brings us joy? And how do we take back our power from other people so that we can be free to be truly ourselves. First, we need to be mindful, and I've said it before often, and I will continue to keep saying it. If you're not aware of the way that you are feeling, of how you're thinking and what you're doing, how can you possibly start to challenge and change things? So once we are aware of these things, we can then use our emotions as the guidance system they were designed for, rather than the control mechanism they've become. Positive emotions let us know that all is well and we're on track or in alignment with our inner being and negative emotions are signposting things that need to be addressed. So when we feel angry, sad, jealous, frustrated, stressed or depressed, we need to try and pause for a moment. You know, this is a really good coping skill. If we can just try and take a breath and stop allowing the emotion to trigger us, we can then ask ourselves the following. So the first question has to be, where in my body am I feeling this emotion? Because if it's in your head, then it tends to mean that you're isolated and disconnected from people or the environment, you know, nature or spirituality. If you're feeling it in a tight throat, it could mean that you feel that you're not being heard or that you can't express yourself. Or maybe you feel that you're being uh, creatively stifled. If you feel it in your heart, then maybe subconsciously you're feeling not valued or unloved. If it's in your solar plexus, then maybe you're feeling disempowered, undervalued and lost. And if you're feeling it at the base of the spine, then maybe you're feeling insecure, frustrated or overwhelmed. So once we've identified where we are feeling it, we can then start to explore that further. And we need to be really honest about why we're feeling that way. And it may be that because, you know, we think we deserve more or that we feel that our needs are more important than the others and that we think it's not fair. And these are unpleasant thoughts, you know, when when you're doing self discovery work, you know, it's quite often that you will find stuff that you don't necessarily like about yourself. But that's okay. You don't have to be like that anymore. And if you don't discover it, then how can you possibly work on it? And once you have acknowledged it, then of course, you've got the choice as to whether you do anything about it. So it's, it's kind of like working you know with the layers of an onion that each time you think you know yourself better there's something else that comes up and that's that's good because what we're doing is we're unpeeling all the layers of our conditioning and of other people's values until finally we get to our true self at the core and that is when we find you know peace and contentment and enlightenment and that is when life flows because we're we're true and honest to ourselves and what we've come here to do and so there are several mindfulness practices that we can use to help us go within and get to know ourselves better so these include finding stillness through meditation journaling any kind of writing down thoughts is a really useful way from getting them out of our head and onto paper so that we can start to examine them 
and and look at how they make us feel and how they make us behave and what we want to do to change them and journaling uh, yoga and there's, there's the three whys is also another really useful um exercise so it's about intrinsic questioning it's about being really attentive in, and listening to the answers that you give yourself so an example could be i go for a walk each morning why so then you answer it and then you ask twice more until you get a really comprehensive answer and that's how you start to know yourself another way of doing it is telling your story from the third person perspective because the more self-aware you become the more you are able to challenge unhelpful and limiting beliefs and behaviours. And then you can begin to find a way to like and then ultimately love yourself and be proud of the amazing journey that you're on and the way that you are showing up in the world as uniquely you. You have skills and gifts that no one has. That They don't use them in the same way as you. They don't bring them to the world the same way as you. And we need that. Everybody is connected and we all need what everybody else has to offer. We just have to stop trying to make everybody the same and we have to start honouring the differences. Not as a problem, but as something to be celebrated and um, harnessed. So then you'll start to see the futility in arguing with reality. Because, you know, it doesn't really matter what it is that you think or how you think the world should be. If you're mindful and you're being honest about it, you can see how the world is. And the truth of the matter is you're going to have to deal with how the world is. So the quicker you can get from realising what's going on to accepting what's going on, the less suffering that you will go through. And then you can start to see how damaging that is to your well-being and your life outcomes when you're allowing other people to define you and hold you back. And so once you start to see all this, once you start to see the reality of the situation, once you get to know yourself better, you'll start to feel lighter and more joyous because you'll start to identify what it is you love to do and how you love to be. And then you can discover what you're drawn to do. And when you're doing what you're meant to be doing, what makes your heart sing and fills you with joy, then you feel free. And then you realise that this is the life that you are meant to lead. You are a spiritual being having a human experience and no one else is like you. And that's amazing. This is what makes us stronger. So we are a human community, as I said, and we are not all meant to be the same. It is our individual skills and insights that make us collectively more resilient, make us creative and enlightened. And because we all have something special to bring to life, we need to be authentic to be able to do that. We need to be true to ourselves. And the people that then get us without putting us under pressure to impress them will be naturally drawn to us and us to them. And that's when we get our support groups and then we can support each other to be more. We can all grow and we become better collectively at problem solving and coming up with creative solutions to all the barriers that life throws up. And it's when we are authentic that we truly become in alignment with our purpose and life goes mostly smoothly. It won't always go smoothly because we wouldn't grow. But the point is we will know that we have the support mechanisms in, work, um, in place to help us overcome anything. We'll know that we're resilient, that we can get through. And we know that we need to go through this process to become more, to learn and to be a better person than we are today and that's not to say that we're not a good person today it's just that like everything it can always be improved on um, and then without almost without thinking about it we can see solutions and opportunities and this is how we become free because we're no longer working on a, a thinking scale we're feeling and intuiting our way forward because we're we're so in alignment with who we are and we're expressing ourselves or we feel comfortable to be able to express ourselves because we don't need everybody to agree with us because we don't need everybody's approval um, and we're happy for people to maybe disagree or challenge what we're thinking or saying or doing because that way we can learn more about ourselves in the way that we phrase what we're trying to explain. But it's also about letting go. We don't all need to believe the same thing. We don't all need to be doing the same thing. And so what I believe is right for me may not be what's right for you. 
but what we believe is right for ourselves and we are living the path that we're meant to do and that is how we become so much happier and freer and more so if you um, that appeals to you and you would like to work with me uh, with your coaching then please get in touch simplybe.org.uk and you can see um, lots about me on there um, and if you've got any comments I'd love to hear them I'm really interested to know uh, feedback on the podcast and whether you find them helpful and whether you want certain things discussed and if so yeah then please please get in touch and tell me what you want me to talk about and I'll do my best so Thank you very much for listening and hopefully you'll join me for the next one. Take care. Bye.